Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be having a look at this uh, GAN charger from nothing, the new uh, company that is known as CMF. This is the GAN charger and in this video I also have a power meter and we'll see how much actually power it draws while we charge different devices. For example, we'll test it with three different smartphones that is the Fold 5, this is nothing phone 2 and even I have the Pixel uh, smartphones. And not only that, we'll also be trying to test it with a different laptop, for example MacBook Air and another Windows laptop that we have and does it charge uh, quickly and what is the gist about it. So let's get on with the same. So guys, uh, here, uh, this is my power meter. So just let's just place it over here and you'll notice a very simple thing that it is showing zero watts. So that means it's consuming no power as of now. Oh, so that's what we expect. So I'm going to attach this uh, charger. And by the way, guys, that comes inside this uh, box. This is the charger itself. That's it. Uh, what do you get? The charger inside it and a small pamphlet, nothing. No cable is included, which is... Uh, disappointing thing they should have given a cable i'm just using the pixel uh, what do you say charging cable that's a type c to type c and in terms of physical overview we do have uh, two usb type c port and one usb type a port and ideally you should actually if you're just charging one device use only with this one this port the the lower port uh, um, I'll, I'll talk about that why but i'll just connected this one so let's just connect this to see if this has some vampire draw. Vampire draw means that if nothing is also connected, uh, does this device consume some little bit? And as you can see, yes, it consumes 0.26 watts even uh, if nothing is actually connected to the cable. So if you just leave it on, it consumes this one. This is slightly disappointing. This could have been better figures, I would say. But yeah, that's what it is. 0.26 to 0.28 uh, uh, watts it consumes if nothing is actually connected. Okay, now uh, let's bring this uh, Fold uh, 5 because Samsung has actually stop giving chargers even in their mid-range smartphones now forget about the about their flagships so let's see uh, if this can charge uh, it uh, properly uh, Samsung uh, phones generally top out at 25 watts of charging that's the same case even with this fold 5 so let's attach this fold 5 here and it started charging and it is saying super fast charging on the phone itself and yes it's started pulling power and uh, so it's charging at 19.6 watts sometimes you have to actually start using the phone and give it a load so that the maximum charging is uh, enabled so let me do one thing let's just, just try to run a benchmark and see if it's try, uh, trying to pull the maximum power okay this is the benchmark so yeah, it's just consuming about 20-ish watts, uh, uh, but this is at 43%. Uh, what I've noticed is that if the phone is on very low charge, then only it uh, consumes the maximum wattage what it is. But again, as you saw, uh, this I've charged the Fold 5 n number of times, it charges uh, fairly quickly. So it's almost as good as a Samsung dedicated charger. Now we have this Pixel, uh, uh, what do you say, 8 Pro and this is at a very low charge about two percent and i think so the maximum charge of pixel is 27 or 28 watts let's see how much uh charging rate this one goes with this so it started charging it's at 18 now 20 i'll let I'll let the screen close okay so the pixel is it went till 27 if you notice and came back so it's existing yeah so yeah pixel it's actually uh, going at the maximum charging rate that is 29 watt because this is almost discharged 2% as I've told you. So it's successfully actually charging pixel at the maximum charging current that it takes. Again, one thing to note is that though this charger is a 65 watt charger, guys, uh, the charging speed will be determined by the device. For example, as I've told you, uh, the Samsung uh, Fold 5 maximum uh, charging pulling is up to 25 watts. So it cannot charge more than that. That's the limitation of charge. Uh, surprisingly, Pixel, oh, I, now I recall the Pixel 8 Pro, yes, the charging rate is slightly higher at uh, 29 to 30 watts. So it is actually pulling the max it can do. So it's charging the Pixel at what it is rated. Now let's uh, check with the Nothing Phone 2. Um, and I didn't discharge this fully. This is still at 50-ish, 56%, so might not charge at full speed, but let's see. I've just connected it. Let's see. 15, 17, 19. Let the screen go off. 24 watts, 27 watts, 29, 32, 35, 40. So it looks like 45 is the maximum. Ah, so it's pulling the maximum rate, uh, uh, actually, uh, 
for uh, at least a pixel so de definitely it is uh, you can use this so that means actually guys uh, this charger you can use not only for the nothing phones but even for uh, many of the other smart high-end smartphones for example samsung smartphones which pull maximum of 25 even pixel smartphones and the stuff like that so that way it's actually now nice i also uh, wanted to test uh, because many of the new laptops actually have type c charging this is the macbook air m1 uh, so let's put this and see if it charges i've just connected it and let's see this should go 45 watts or 40 50 yeah as you can see again it is charging at the full maximum speed that is allowed by the macbook air and it is charging at 50 watts so definitely you can charge and in fact uh, guys i have been actually charging this uh, laptop with this gan charger only for the last 20 days and i'm very happy with the performance now let's also check one more windows laptop and this actually uh, this is the samsung uh, galaxy book uh, 3 pro and uh, this actually uh, supports charging up to i think so 95 watts so as this is a 65 watt charger this should charge at the full 65 watt speed let's see okay i've just connected it and yeah as you can see it is uh, pulling the maximum wattage it can pull from this gan charger so yeah it's charging at the full rated uh, speed of the charger uh, the now charging limit is limited by the charger because this can accept if i recall 1995 watts or something like that so yeah as you can see you can easily also charge laptops with this one without any issues so that way i would say i like the charger uh, one thing I don't like is that they're not giving a, what do you say, type C cable, uh, because again, the, if you don't use good quality type C cables, you might not be able to go to the maximum charging speeds because not all type C uh, cables are quality cables. So again, if you're getting a charger, uh, make sure you use a quality type C cable. They should have actually given a type C cable in the box. And I also don't like this idle draw. The idle draw is slightly on the higher side because this is, if you just keep the charger plugged into a wall, if you charge anything or not, it's going to consume this much power. So overall, I like the charger, guys. Uh, the charger has been working well, as I've told you. I've used it now for 20, 25 days, charge multiple smartphones with this one. And I like the fact that it has three ports. Uh, but the thing that you guys need to note is that, uh, and again, it's given a, uh, even in the manual, the top port, which is the USB type A port, can maximum charge at only 36 watts. Uh, and again, if uh, for the maximum charging, use this bottom port. This supports the full 65 watt charging. But again, if you uh, connect a second cable, also USB type C cable and uh, charging two devices, the bottom one will supply up to 45 watts and the top one then will supply up to 20 watts. So that's what it is. These are some of the limitations that it has. But overall, I would say it's a nice charger. I like the size. It's actually compact. It says the 65 watt GAN and it's uh, compact enough that you can actually travel with this one. And I like the fact that not only you can charge uh, your multiple smartphones that you might be carrying with you you but also your laptops with this charger safely but again the maximum uh, what do you say wattage is 65 watts coming to the pricing guys uh, the pricing is neither very high for a GAN charger nor very very low I would say it's competitive because uh, what I've seen is that some of the quality uh, chargers uh, uh, that are proprietary with uh, some of the other devices etc uh, and stuff though those are sold for 2500 2000 rupees but yeah uh, this is for 3000 rupees uh, and if you have multiple devices uh, then you can certainly have a look at it in terms of heating also guys i did not notice any excessive heating with this one yes if i was charging my laptops and pulling that full 65 watt yes this got a little bit warm to touch but nothing like hot or anything so that way i would say it's a good product and it gets a thumbs up from me apart from some of the minor cons that i have mentioned that the idle drain is slightly on the higher side that is that 0.26 to 0.28 watt and also seriously they should have given a quality usb type c cable in the packaging but anyways what do you feel about this uh, nothing uh, gan 65 watt charger do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video Take care, guys.